In this course, and in many other educational situations, signal and noise are easily dissociable because they're created by the student or the teacher. Typically, the signal is defined by some features and parameters, like maybe a sine wave, for example, and thereafter, the noise is simulated by generating random numbers. Unfortunately, however, the real world is a little bit more complicated, and it's not always so easy to separate signal from noise. So what is the difference between signal and noise? It's not a question of what can be interpreted and what cannot be interpreted. In my field of neuroscience, for example, scientists continue to be puzzled over exactly how to interpret brain electrical waves. So these are the signal. And we really don't have a good idea of how to interpret these. On the other hand, there is no ambiguity whatsoever about how to interpret 50 hertz electrical line noise that contaminates unshielded recordings. It's also not the case that signal contains information while noise contains no information. Consider the radio, for example. When you listen to one radio station, then all the other stations corresponding to information being transmitted on different frequencies, those other stations can be considered noise that needs to be eliminated. Indeed, the critical difference between signal and noise seems to be that the signal is relevant for the current application, while the noise is irrelevant for the current application. But this is also not such an easy definition either, because what is relevant and what is irrelevant is constrained by our current knowledge, technological limitations, and assumptions about the system under investigation. Perhaps some of what is now considered noise will, in the future, be considered signal. I'd like to tell you a famous story about signal and noise. In the 1960s, astronomers Penzias and Wilson were trying to detect weak radio waves from satellites. Their measurements were contaminated by what they thought was measurement noise, and they were doing everything they could to try to eliminate that noise. Eventually, it was discovered that this was not noise at all. This was residual microwave background radiation in the universe. And realizing that this noise was really not noise, but in fact was a direct measurement of the radiation resulting from the Big Bang that is the origin of our universe, this was one of the most important findings of 20th century cosmology, and it was a crucial piece of evidence that showed that our universe had a beginning and was expanding. On the other hand, despite the relevance of this finding for theories of the origin and the fate of the universe, this background radiation is still considered noise that must be filtered out when detecting radio waves from satellites orbiting the Earth. So the point is that the term noise is really used for convenience. It's not an absolute assessment of the usefulness of part of a signal or part of an image. In other words, one person's noise is another person's signal.